ladies and gentlemen i welcome all to my channel we are seeing series videos under the get do's and don'ts in purchasing and selling the property today we are going to see on one of one of the important aspects namely the power of attorney uh, what are the things we have to bear in mind when we are going to purchase the property through a power agent how long the power is valid how to check whether the power is in force whether when the when uh, when the uh, when whenever the power will lose its power validity what are the precaution we have to make it uh, bear in mind when we are purchasing the property to our power agent all these issues let us see in this video before going to the topic let us understand what is meant by power of attorney power of attorney is nothing but a document whereby one person gives authority to another person to do an act or to abstain from doing an act so normally the owner of the property suppose he is in <coughs> lives in another place or he is in abroad or uh, and he is not able to come and register this uh, sale lead he used to give the power of attorney in favor of his relative or in favor of his friend and by through which he will authorize the the person the his agent to do the particular acts if only one specific act is given under the power is given to a the agent such type of power of attorney is called specific power of attorney or special power of attorney if the principal gives authorizes his agent to do more than one acts and suppose he act authorizes to do several acts such type of power of attorney is called general power of attorney normally the owner will give power power to power or authority to the agent to do various acts he will ask the, he will give the power to manage the property he will give the power to empower the agent to sell the property to enter the sale agreement to go and execute the sale deed to deliver the document to deliver the possession and to complete the register like that various powers will be given under the general power of attorney by the owner of the property to the agent of the property so this is the uh, normal contents which will be mentioned in the general power of attorney so supposing we are uh, we are going to purchase a property through the agent uh, or through uh, on the basis of the power of attorney we should see that whether the principal who gave the power is alive or not supposing a gives the power to b and after 3 months a dies then the power given in favor of the b is also dies with the person the general principle is that power of attorney dies with the person that is a general phenomena so supposing the power given uh, was given on no particular time and after 2 or 3 months the principal that is the owner who gave power dies then the power of attorney will become invalid and if any sale deed or any action was done in pursuance of that power of attorney such type of sale deed or such types of action will have no validity so if supposing the sale deed is registered uh, after the death of the uh, owner then such type of sale deed and the sale is uh, also be null and void so that will not give uh, give any uh, uh, transfer that will not make any transfer that that, will, that type of sale deed will not give any title to the purchaser so we must be very careful when we are going to purchase the property and we have to check up whether the principal the owner who gave power of attorney is alive on the date of execution of the sale deed secondly uh, we should also see that whether the power is not whether is whether is alive and it is not cancelled supposing a gives the power of power to b on in january and and he cancel the power on february or march and thereafter Uh, by suppressing the cancel of the power of attorney and the agent uh, by fraud or by misrepresentation or by deceptive practice uh, sell uh, execute a sale deed in such a circumstance also the sale uh, deed will not have any validity and such type of sale is also null and void so the power have the legal or the authority as long as the principal owner uh, is alive and and uh, the power has a uh, validity unless unless and until the power is revoked so supposing the power is revoked or cancelled by the 
principal or the owner thereafter if any sale lead or sell sell transaction is registered or sale lead is executed by the agent then such type of sale shall not be binding on the uh, owner of the property or the legal heirs and such type of sell uh, lead shall have no authority and it will have no effect this is their law and so when we are going to purchase a property through the power agent or under the power of attorney we should be very careful and we should check whether the owner is alive and it is whether and, and, and also we should see that the power is not revoked or cancelled and that the power is still in force this aspect we will have to verify and check up and then or thereafter only we should go and purchase the property this is the message i want to convey uh, through this video so ladies and gentlemen you may watch my channel rasiyak satam by om is a tamil channel rasiyak law tube is a english channel in addition to that i also have a website ali associate chennai uh, that also uh, you may all you may see all my videos in in the in my to in my youtube channels and also in my website through which you can enrich your knowledge and you can clarify all your legal doubts in addition to that you have any specific queries you may also contact a cell number if time sir permits i will give you necessary consultation depending upon my time and availability i'll come again with another topic until then goodbye rajira kali